Hey guys, Cutter's Choice here with uh, the new Jason Browse Bionic. Uh, this is his more uh, money friendly EDC choice. As you can tell, I got the, uh, the blackout with the uh, acid stone washed uh, blade version, which is just, it's sweet. The uh, the acid stone wash really hides those cut marks that you see on most uh, DLC or black or quote unquote black DLC coated blades. So I really like it, especially because every time I seem to cut on a black coated blade, it shows the marks. So another thing I wanted to show was uh, this little thing. Not too many people have talked about it, but the uh, the pocket clip uh, reverse side has this little insert here, which is really cool. I mean, you don't see too often another uh, thing to fill in the hole, so usually you're seeing something that's uh, um, basically a, a cutout where the screw would go, so... It's uh, really nice to see on um, his new knife. So, again, this is the uh, Bionic. Um, the this is the blackout version with the acid stone wash, like I said. And um, on Jason's website, you can buy it for about one ninety nine. Um, that's minus shipping and handling. And uh, on Blade HQ. Uh, from what I've seen, which I just looked, um, today is Monday, Martin Luther King Day, you can buy this same blade for $159. I don't know why, but um, they have the blackout version for $189. So it's kind of interesting to see that they had the uh, acid stone wash for actually the same price as their satin version blades with the the green handles or the pink handles or whatnot. So, um, the flipping on this is actually really good. Uh, you just gotta figure out where to do it. You gotta really take your finger and put it to the tip, and then kind of press down like it would be a press button, like a automatic almost. So, uh, once you get used to it, it's it's fairly simple. So, flips out great. I'm not sure if he uh, if he did this one on washers or or bearings, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's bearings. So uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, centering's perfect. So this thing's just it's just really cool. I mean, it's a great EDC blade. Whenever whenever I take this out, sometimes uh, it's nice because you don't have to. Uh, scare people off necessarily. Uh, sometimes when I pull out my T4 people are like ah put it away. So it's just people not used to blades as much so anyways there's the uh, Bionic next to the T4 um, which is another one of uh, Jason Browse's um, recent models so There's the lockup, which also is extremely smooth. I mean, it just flies out every time. I don't think you can misfire with this guy. So, do a couple more close ups. Yeah, hopefully, um, Hopefully I can get a couple more of these before they sell out. I really like the blue handle and the green handle. I think they're pretty sweet. Again, this is a D2 steel for the for the blade. Same thing with uh, the T4. It's a D2 steel, except the T4 is the uh, satin version. I think that's uh, 259. Um, they're sold out on browseblades.com, but 
I believe you can still buy the satin version on uh, Blade HQ. So, here's a last look at the uh, Bionic with the acid stonewash. And here's the lockup, if you can see that. So, early lockup, but not so early that I'm having, you know, I'm not having any issues with the lockup or anything. So, it's, uh, it's actually pretty perfect. So, I'm excited, you know, I've been uh, carrying this one around every day. So, alright guys, well, there's the uh, Bionic. 